members of a gang known as the Chelsea Mob. All nine are charged with conspiracy to cause a fray on occasions between 1980 and 1986. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Bill Hamilton, now reports. The court was told of a six-year catalogue of violence carried out by football hooligans calling themselves the Chelsea Mob. According to the Crown, their victims weren't just opposing fans, but ordinary men, women and children, some of whom weren't even attending games. The violence took place before matches, inside the grounds and after games, when the gang would lay in wait for supporters as they left by bus, coach or on foot. Some of the victims were left with visiting cards. One recovered by the police read, you have been nominated and dealt with by the Chelsea headhunters. The prosecution claimed that the nine men in the dock were led by 23-year-old London clerk Terry Last. It was alleged he kept diaries stretching back to 1980 and detailing scores of incidents at towns right across the country. They included a particularly brutal fight at a Newcastle pub when Geordie fans were attacked from behind by Chelsea hooligans, some with knives. Several were badly injured. One Newcastle fan needed 140 stitches. Later, the police mounted an undercover operation. They infiltrated part of the organization with plainclothes officers who traveled to games to find out who were their leaders and what were their plans. Still, the violence continued at Liverpool, at Birmingham, at Southport, and here at Wembley at last season's full members cup final. A mob of 250 attacked Manchester City coaches with stones, fence palings and pieces of wood. One of the defendants, the jury was told, kicked a policeman unconscious. Then, last March, in a dawn raid, the police moved in. Their operation, called Own Goal, resulted in the arrest of last and six of the other defendants. Their trial is likely to continue for at least another seven weeks.